In 2013, the USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service entered into a cooperative agreement with the South Dakota No-Till Association and IGRO SDSU Extension for delivering the latest soil health and productivity technology to South Dakota farmers and ranchers. A series of four local events were held in South Dakota in Sioux Falls, Watertown, Belfouche, and Mitchell. Well, everyone, we are wrapping the day up, so I will not take much of your time, but it was a real pleasure for me to be here and to listen to all the speakers. <clears throat> I have five things I want to do again. It will take just a few seconds. Number one, I want to thank all of the people who came and spoke to us today. You guys did a great job. Thank you so much. We need to give them another hand. I want to thank the sponsors that put this all together and made it work. And I guess I really want to give a special thank you to Ruth. Um, these sessions that we've held across the state so far, I think, have really exceeded our expectations. And I think a lot of that goes to <coughs> the work you did and the team. So thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Last thing, I want to thank all of you that came to listen today. Um, sometimes it's a little spooky adopting some of this new technology. And I just, I really appreciate you're here and you're asking questions and you're kind of, I see a lot of attitude of, hey, we can do some things different. So I really appreciate that. Number two thing that I wanted to cover, I always do that. Number two thing, <laughs> see the way. Number two, why is NRCS talking about the soul health thing all the time? It's simple. We all want to brag that agriculture is South Dakota's number one industry. But that's only because of our natural resources. If you take away natural resources, it's not going to be there. It's the factory, folks. We've got to maintain the factory. In fact, the factory's got to be better than the factory is today. That's why we're talking soil health. Now, I'm a little afraid sometimes. The third point I wanted to make is sometimes I'm a little afraid that health is the wrong term. When I go to the doctor and they give me a talk about health, the first thing they do is they, they, they run me through a series of tests to assess my health, right? And usually the outcome of all of it is, is I'm going to be looking at giving something up. <laughs> Mostly it's food. <laughs> I'm usually thinking I'm going to feel some pain to be more healthy. There's, usually they're going to talk about some exercise. Usually they're going to talk to me about maybe I need to give up caffeine when they find out I drink a couple pots a day. So I think sometimes when we've said soil health, people think, I'm going to have to give something up. But I really don't believe for this soil health and the term we're using, we have to give up anything except some of the things that have been stuck in our brain for a lot of years. we got to let some of the paradigms and some of the things that we were maybe even taught in college go and look at some of this new stuff that's come along. Give that up. And I don't think you have to give up anything else. You definitely don't have to give up productivity. And I think that's the key thing. OK, so the fourth thing I wanted to do, I wanted to make a commitment to you that NRCS is going to keep beating this drum. We just can't stop. It's the right thing for our state. It doesn't matter if it's on rangeland. It doesn't matter if it's on cropland. This is a push we just have to keep doing. So you're going to keep hearing this from us all the time. We're going to try to tell you the story through the eyes of a lot of the folks that are doing it. You're hearing us talk about our voices for soil health, and they're you. And you're going to help us tell that story. And we'll have a lot of other things coming down the line. And then something just hit me that I think is a great opportunity for us. You know, we talked about research, way. You made some great points about how much we're investing in research. Well, we've got a program called the Conservation Stewardship Program. We've got over 4 million acres enrolled. We're going to be probably getting to enroll another million acres this year. It's bringing $46 million to our state. We're going to get to re-enroll with the farm bill, the new farm bill. We're going to get to re-enroll the acres that have actually been in the program for the last five years. We could have nationwide 100 million acres in the stewardship program, which will make it be the biggest conservation program ever. And it actually has an enhancement in it that allows people to do really kind of simple on-farm research. And we're going to work and push that idea a lot more in the upcoming years. 
Because I think if we take all of you in this room and have you start trying things on your farms and your ranches and seeing what works, the sky's the limit. And I don't think you'll believe any research better than the research that you see yourself. So those are the five things I wanted to cover with you. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. If there's anything else that you can have ideas of what NRCS can do to help you improve the health of your soil, improve the productivity of your soil, let us know because we're listening. <coughs> Thank you.